Hey, what's going on everybody? Echo Side Fiend here back once again and today we are going to be taking a look through all of my CD singles and CD samplers that are all MNE and psychopathic related. So uh, before we get started, I want to give a big shout out to Scary Clown 6 who's been on me for a couple months to get this video done. Uh, main thing, I was trying to get a couple of the singles that I'm missing from Hollow Wicked, ones that I did attend and don't have. I was going to try to get them from eBay so I get my collection all filled out the, of ones that I, that I attended. And I uh, just didn't get around to doing that. And it's going to be a while before I can uh, get them. It's just two more that I need to fill the collection of all of them that I've attended. So hopefully, eventually, I'll be able to get to uh, get those and get my collection all up to date. But it, it's going to be a while. So I decided uh, let's just go ahead and show what I've got here for today. And then when those, when I do get those, whether I get them from eBay or wherever, uh, I'll show those two off when I get them. So, all right. So let's go ahead and get right into this. And again, uh, Scary Clown 6, thank you for uh, suggesting this and, and, and keeping at me. And this video is for you. So let's get started. So again, uh, this is going to be all just uh, m and &E and uh, psychopathic related. So the first one is uh, 2016 m and &E sampler. Guessing I just got this at a merch table or an order that I placed from m and &E store. So this is, of course, just uh, songs that would be on albums that they had uh, upcoming. So uh, it includes, they call that Gangsta by Blaze You Dead Homie, the ROC, and Lex the Hexmaster. Uh, Ninjas by Lex the Hexmaster. Triple Threat by, of course, Twisted and Blaze. And I'm guessing it's The Chalmer by the ROC. So uh, one I, did, I didn't open. A lot of the samplers I don't open because I know I'll have the album anyway. So uh, Blaze You Dead Homie, Casket Factory sampler, same thing, uh, assuming I just got it from a merch stand or an order. So this has uh, just snippets of songs. It didn't have any full tracks, but it uh, has uh, snippets of Electric Witch, Two Middle Fingers, Who You Looking For, The Way You Look Before You Die, Necromancy, and I Will Bury You. Another one I didn't uh, open, but uh, speaking of Cactus Factory, it's one of my favorite Blaze albums. So I got a Fright Fest 2013 by Twisted, Impending Evil. feel like I should have a few more of Twisted Fright Fest ones. There was one year... That I didn't go because my, my ex, uh, her birthday is actually October 30th. I think it was 2014 we didn't go because uh, there was some event up in uh, like Traverse City or something. Somewhere uh, she was pagan, Wiccan, whatever, and it was like some, I don't know, ritual thing. I didn't, I, we went, I didn't go to that because I don't believe in any of that stuff. But uh, uh, yeah, so we went to the, that and then we went to Hollow Wicked the next day. Because she liked Twisted and, and ICP and everything. She just didn't want, she wanted to go do that. And it's obviously her birthday, so I couldn't argue. So, but I feel like I should have some more Fright Fest ones, but I don't know. Maybe I got them packed away or maybe, again, I might just be misremembering. So, all right. So this is the Ridas. Uh, I'm guessing it's a sampler or something. I've never listened to it. Uh, they gave it at, um, gave it out at uh, Attack of the Ninjas Fright Fest. This would be just last year. I didn't pick up the full album. Uh, I wasn't even that into Psychopathic Riders. And then when they did this, uh, I think when I was showing off my Hollow Wicked uh, merch that I picked up that year, I, I think I talked about this. I, I, I thought this was kind of fucking lame. You know, I mean, just rehashing another thing that Psychopathic did, but whatever, I'm not going to get into it. So, uh, But yeah, I never listened to that. So, All right, so uh, this is Feed the Beast by Twisted. I feel like I got this with a VIP package. I think that's right. It's from 2015. Again, I didn't open it. I, I've heard this. I, I think it's on YouTube, and I probably downloaded it or whatever. But uh, I, yeah, I think this came from uh, a VIP pack because I've done a few of their VIPs. This one here, this this probably is uh, a Fright Fest one. I didn't open it, um, and there's no writing on it at all. So I'm sure it's twisted, judging by the art. But um, and uh, since I didn't open it at the time, I'm like, eh, I'm not going to open it now. Kind of just adds to the mystery of it. So uh, if you are aware of what this is, let me know in the comments. But this is probably a, 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 almost definitely a Fright Fest one. This has got a jack-o'-lantern there. So yeah, let me know if you know what that is. All right, Zug Island. Uh, the single is uh, for it is uh, Fire, but it also has Sunny Day on here. I picked this up at the Hollow Wicked 2002 uh, that's the one me and my buddy Rob went to in Royal Oak and we went on Devil's Night because the Halloween night we were going to go to that one and it sold out before we even got tickets. And uh, so we bought tickets for the uh, um, Devil's Night one that they announced after that. And that sold out too because my buddy Josh went to get tickets for it and uh, that, that had sold out. He couldn't get any tickets to go with us. So um, yeah, we were just uh, getting shirts or whatever and we were waiting in line and I saw it was five bucks and 
the album wasn't out yet and I wanted to hear it. So, and uh, Crack Tiles actually went on to be one of my favorite psychopathic projects ever. So, all right, Fatter Wax Sampler. I only just got this uh, just a couple of years ago. An old buddy of mine from high school, we actually met in middle school. Uh, he contacted me. I posted a picture of my CD tower there after I put that all together. Um, and I posted it on Facebook and then he responded with a picture comment and was like, Hey, would you want this? I have it. And, uh, he worked at a music store in the North Kent mall. Uh, that's only just a five minutes from my folks house. And, uh, I went out of business when I was like 22, probably the whole mall went out of business in the, the music land, the store he worked at, I think went out of business maybe like a year before the mall closed. But he was working there, and he, when he when he gave this to me, we met up uh, in you know at a brewery and had a few beers and caught up because we hadn't seen each other in years. He was telling me like somebody from Psychopathic actually came in and just brought a box of them and asked if they could, you know, put them out for free, you know, for people to grab. And Mike was working. He's like, yeah, go ahead. And so he he grabbed one for himself to check it out. He's a metalhead, but he's like, this wasn't his style. But all these years, he held on to it. So he's like, I didn't want to get rid of it, like throw it out. But he's like, I I wanted, I was hoping to give it to somebody that would, you know appreciate it and then he's like I saw your picture so he's like I'd like to give it to you you know so we met up like a week later and I gave it to me and we caught up for all the years that we were were friends and hadn't seen each other and so that was pretty cool so big shout out to my buddy Mike for hooking me up with that so this is the bizarre sampler I know for fact this came when I ordered the DVD copy of Big Money Hustlers from Hatchet Gear because I had a VHS of it and I ordered a DVD when those came out and this was in there so uh, from obviously 2000 so uh, ICP bang pow boom sampler this I didn't get till probably a year after the album was out nuclear edition was already out when I got this so my roommate her boyfriend at the time was this guy named Marty and uh, they dated for three or four years somewhere along in there and me and him golfed together all the time we'd always get together and go golfing and so he was telling me one time he's like hey I picked up a uh, ICP bang pow boom sampler for you from hot topic and I was like oh cool you know and we saw each other all the time. We just he just always forgot to give it to me, and I'd forget to ask him for it. So finally, the album came out, and like I said, I I know I already had the nuclear edition because I, otherwise I probably would have opened this up for the decoder tool. And uh, so one day uh, we were going golfing. One day I was going to pick him up, and um, yeah, he came out and he was just like, "Hey," I, I, he's like, "I remembered here, take this now before I forget to give it to you." So I was like, "All right, cool." So I just brought it home and threw it in my collection and didn't open it. So, all right, so the wraith. Sampler, this I did a unboxing for, uh, I ordered this off of eBay, I thought I owned one of these, and I think I'm just misremembering, I don't think I actually did own one, um, and I, so I was looking through my collection one time, and I was like, where the fuck did my Wraith Sampler go, and, uh, and so I even called my ex, and she looked through, like, her CDs just to see if it had gotten mixed in there, and as I'm telling her about it, she's like, I don't know if you had one of those, you know, she's like, that doesn't sound familiar, and then when it came, when I ordered it, you know, with all the foil print, I, I feel like I would, like, remember for fact if I had one. I think I just probably saw one somewhere, and then it just got mixed up in my mind, and I was like, oh, I own one of those, or whatever, so. Uh, but yeah, this includes uh, Simple and Blunt, Knocked Disc Mix, Juggalo Chant, and then the audio of the ICP seminar when they unveiled the Wraith Shangri-La at the 2002 gathering. So, I ended up finding it on eBay. I think I think I paid like 30 bucks with free shipping. So I was like, whatever. I, I know that's kind of pricey, but I wanted it for my collection. So, all right. This they handed out at uh, Big Ball's uh, 2018 Christmas at our house. Me and my friend Ivory went. So this is obviously Let Me Go featuring MC Breed and ICP. And uh, the story they were telling about this, they told the story right before they had somebody come and hand these all out. And... Um, so apparently Breed had gotten like super fucked up and like was hallucinating and shit and wandered downtown Detroit or something. And uh, he thought the FBI were after him and the police and Secret Service and all that stuff. And he was able to get a hold of somebody from Psychopathic. And I, if I remember the story right, I think Jay and Shaggy themselves went and picked him up. And uh, they brought him back to the Psychopathic headquarters. And while he was all fucked up, they recorded this song. <clears throat> and, uh, excuse me. Uh, I listened to this on the way home the night we got it, but I think that's the only time I've listened to it, so I don't really remember a whole lot about it, but I think the story was pretty funny, so. All right, so this was one of the free, uh, two free gifts they gave out at that um, Big Ball of Christmas at our house, so 2018, uh, and it has, uh, what's on this one, Swings and Chops, Demo Mix, and Mr. Clean. So you got this and a uh, charm, like a Santa, that Santa Claus logo with like a bullet, and they had a charm of that too, so. Pretty cool. Nice little collectible. 
And uh, finally here I've got the What the Fuck single they put out in uh, 2018. I picked up this and I picked up a couple other copies of it. Uh, a few for my collection and one for uh, Scotty Two Balls. At um, Rock of Ages on the Black Friday uh, sale that they did. Um, me and Crazy McCormick went to it. Uh, Rock of Ages in um, Garden City. So, uh, And speaking of that, so I'll be uploading this on Thanksgiving I am going tomorrow uh, to the uh, Rock of Ages as well, to their Black Friday sale. Uh, I invited Crazy McCormick this year as well. He said he wants to go, so assuming that he uh, is still in, uh, we will both be heading out there tomorrow. I'm planning on getting there between about 12 and 1, uh, and hang out for a few hours, and uh, planning on picking up a couple vinyls, probably going to grab a hoodie, maybe a t-shirt or two. And uh, So if you are going to be there on uh, the, you know, uh, tomorrow, um, Black Friday of uh, 2020, Keep an eye out for uh, for me, and I think Crazy McCormick will be joining me as well. So if you see us, uh, make sure you say hi. So, all right. So now I'm going to be jumping into the Hollow Wicked collection here. So again, I don't have a full collection. I don't have any that I didn't attend, and I'm also missing two uh, that I did attend and still have not. Uh, one that a friend of mine has, and another one that uh, I just didn't get. So. All right, so the first year I attended was uh, 1998, so that's Pumpkin Cover uh, Remix, and then 99, uh, I went that year as well, and those two, I lent to my friend Rob, the one who went to 2002 with me, because uh, he was just trying to build up his uh, collection on his computer, and he still has them. Uh, I, I asked him about them, and he, he kind of was like, oh, shit, I forgot that I even borrowed those from you. And he's like, I guarantee I still have them. I, I know he wouldn't have got rid of them. So if he can put his hands on them and get them back, then cool, I'll have extra copies. Uh, so I'm obviously I don't have 94, 95, 96, or 97, which is Dead Pumpkins, Mr. Rotten Treats, Halloween on Military Street, and Mr. Johnson's Head, respectively. Um, and then so 98, I'm still missing. So moving on, this is one I ordered off of eBay uh, to replace one of them that, that Rob has. So this is a Sleepwalker. This is sealed. I'm not going to open it. But uh, I did have a copy of it that I had opened. Um, so I just ordered this off of eBay. Still got to try to get 98. And then once, if, if Rob gets finds them and gives them back to me, then I'll just have a couple extra copies. Okay, so I didn't go to 2000 or 2001. Me and Rob went to 2002, but we went to the Devil's Night. And so they said if you went to Devil's Night, you would not get a CD. They, were, they only had enough for... A Halloween and when they scheduled the one on Devil's Night they didn't have enough time to um, to uh, reprint you know enough for that night too so that's another one I gotta get that so that will be uh, Silence of the Hams with Isham uh, so I, that's another one I gotta try to get uh, so then I didn't go to 2003 which was Thug Pit and then moving on uh, I got 2004 uh, so Murder Cloak me and my friend Kyle went to 2004 but this is the year that they tried to hand them out on your way out. And if you were at this show, you probably remember the stage got rushed. ICP, I'm thinking, maybe played for a half hour, maybe a little more than that. And then the stage got rushed and they shut the show down. And then the people were trying to hand these out on the way out. And people were just reaching into the boxes and grabbing handfuls of them. I didn't get one. Kyle didn't get one. We kind of split up anyway because he went right down in the front. And I was kind of hanging out in the back. And um, so I just ordered this along uh, with this one. I ordered them at the same time uh, to get to get it in my collection so I'd actually have them all. Okay, so from here on out, I have them all, and I've attended every one of them. So, uh, And if you also see me, like I'm looking at my uh, 20th anniversary Hollow Wicked here, so I guess some of them don't have the uh, track names on them. So, okay, 2005, this is Wicked Halloween. And these all did come in sleeves. As well, I just moved them into these plastic maxi single cases, but I do I do have all the sleeves still. Even if it was just a little paper, black paper sleeve, uh, I still have uh, have it. So, all right, so this will be 2006 Blood Red Room, and uh, I think I, only a couple of them actually had like artwork on the on the cases. They were just, most of them are just black sleeves. But like I said, I do have them down there in a stack, but I'm not worried about showing off all those right now. So okay, so 2007, right? Uh, yeah, Evil is Afraid. So 2008, I'm Your Killer. This is absolutely one of my favorites. 2009, If I Ate Your Brains. This is actually one of my favorite ICP tracks ever. And I've played this for people that don't even like ICP, and they were like, that's fucking cool, dude. So, 
All right, so this will be uh, 2010. This Halloween is crazy. This is where I'm talking about. Like sometimes it doesn't like have track names. Uh, if it does, I don't see it. Yeah, no, that's no no track name, nothing. So this one might have had. I think this had artwork on the sleeve, but like I said, I did keep all of them. But all right, so 2011, uh, I saw a monster. This is awesome. This is based on that the story in uh, Violent J's book when he was doing the Ultimate Warrior and. Um, Thinks he summoned a monster. I'm pretty sure that's not what actually happened, but whatever. Uh, it's still a cool story. But okay, so this would be uh, 2012. This is Amber Alert. This is a fucking good track too. I like the, the idea behind it. He's like, why the fuck do we need an Amber Alert? You know, like why are people doing this? You're fucking sick. You know. So uh, all right, so this will be 2013. This is Halloween Head. This is a good track too. And this also had uh, a couple tracks by Boondocks, right? Uh, just a song by Boondocks, Devil's Night. So Halloween Head by ICP and then uh, Devil's Night by Boondocks. I don't remember the Boondocks song. I know, obviously listened to it, but... So, 2014, Red Moon Howl. This one, I know, I think this did have uh, artwork on the sleeve as well. Alright, and then the other ones, hopefully I can... Yeah, all the rest of them, I think they say what they are. Uh, Alright, so this would be 2015. Uh, this is Haunted by the Devil. So 2016, uh, Who You Know. Alright, and then 17 is the Bloody Screams of 17. I do have the case right here because this has a ton of shit on it. So this is the sleeve it came in. Alright, so this has, uh, so track one, intro two, Violent J, Light, and Ouija called uh, Noited, Hooded, Heated, and Jelly. Uh, three is Big Hoodoo Legacy. Four, Zug Island, Brick in the Wall. Five, Esham, uh, The Dead Winner. Uh, six, Misery in the Spanish side, a psycho. Seven, Motown Rage, Hummer. Eight, Mikey Clark, Satan is her name. And nine, uh, Ouija, Dead Body Man 3. So, and then, uh, like I said, this is the CD and the case there. All right, and then, uh, so, 20, uh, this will be 18. This is, uh, Judgment Night. I can't, I always say Judgment Night. Judgment Day by, um, it's a cover uh, by of uh, Esham song by ICP, and then on the actual CD it does have Esham's original one from 1993 as well. So, and then uh, got some cool artwork. It looks like uh, yep, Tom Wood. You can see his uh, signature, not autograph, but his signature right there. So fucking cool. And then yeah, when they came in a maxi single, then I just obviously kept them in that. And then this is from last year, The Dark. I have a couple of these. Uh, I haven't opened any of them. Uh, so obviously 2019, I, I listened to it and everything, uh, but uh, since I heard it on the way home, I'm like, there's no sense in opening it. So I have a couple too, because I kind of walked in and out and they just like, here you go, and gave me a couple more. So gave one to my buddy who couldn't make it that year to keep his uh, collection up to date and everything. So yeah, that's all I got uh, as far as the Hollow Wicked singles. And that, that's actually my whole collection of MNE samplers and singles. Uh, when I do get copies of the other two that I'm, uh, there are the, uh, other, yeah, two that I still got to get, uh, I'll show those off and those will go into my collection. But for now, just short those couple. And then of course ones that I didn't attend, which I'm still kind of debating if I'm going to try to fill those up so I get a whole collection, but we'll decide. So, all right. So that's all I got. Again, if you're going to be at Rock of Ages tomorrow, um, uh, Black Friday of 2020, uh, make sure to keep an eye out for me. By the time we get there, I'm sure we'll be hanging out for a while. Like I said, Crazy McCormick said he wants to go. Uh, even if he doesn't go, I'm still going to go. And actually, another fr uh, friend of mine, Rob, a different Rob, not the one that I went to the Hollow Wicked with, but a different Rob, is talking about joining us as well. So, um, so yeah, if you're there, keep an eye out for us. We'll be there for a couple hours, and um, that's pretty much that. So, as always, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting. This is Echo Side Fiend, and I will catch you in the next one. Too sweet.